Hi guys, we'll have a look at the bridge section of uh, Pluto Projector by Rex Orange County. If you guys check out the link down in the comment below, it will guide you to the whole song lesson, which is in depth. I have showed you guys each and every part of the song, including this part and all, with the task. So be sure to check it out if you want to learn the full song properly. But for now, let's have a quick look at the right hand. I'm using my thumb to hit the A string, my thumb to hit the D string, too, index to hit the G string, middle finger to plug the B string ring finger to pluck the high E string. Got it? Now I started with the F major 7 chord if you look at the tab A8, D10, G9, B10. I go Now this is the pattern which I'm using. I pluck the B A string and the B string together and then I pluck the G then D then B string and this goes for all the shapes so you have to have the pattern by heart. So we got I plucked AB together, then I put G, D, then B. So then I went to E diminished. I have 7 on A, 8 on D, 6 on G, 8 on B. Same pattern once. Then I go to a D minor 7 where you bar the 5th fret of A string, G string, 6th fret on B, 7th fret on D. I'll do the same pattern. Let's go to a D7 dominant. So I'll add my pinky on 7th fret of the B string. Then I'll go to a G minor 7, which is like a D minor 7 shape over here. 10th fret on A, 10th fret on uh, G, 11th fret on B, 12th fret on D. I'll play the pattern once. Then I'll go to a G minor 7 flat 5, where I have my thumb and, I'm sorry, my index on middle finger on 11th fret of, 10th uh, fret of A and G, ring and pinky on 11th fret of D and B. Play the pattern once. Then go back to the F major 7 chord, play the pattern once. And end it with 8th fret on the high E string. So we got just one pattern. You do only have to know changing the changing the chord shape. So we got. And after that, what happens is we do the exact same thing, but we just go a couple of tones up. So we now have the same thing, but the chords are changed. We have a B flat major 7 chord, which is over here. Uh, now the fret's getting really small, so it's super hard to play the chord. But on the other hand, you don't have to stretch a lot for the chords. So that might be a plus point for someone, but for me, it's like a negative point because I can't fit my fingers in the small fret. So I have... B flat major 7, same pattern, look at the tab. Then you have A diminished, same thing. Like we played it over here, but we are now like a two, three whole steps up. I think just a minute. One, two, two, three. So we are two and a half uh, steps up. Two whole step, one half step up. So we have then this one. Then we have G minor 7, G7. Then we come to uh, C minor 7. Then a C minor 7 flat 5, then B flat major 7, end it with 13 fret on the high E string, like you had 8 fret before. So same thing, diff same shape, but different frets. And now the last part. We have B flat major 7 chord over here, so uh, an octave down, so A1, D3, G2, B3, the pattern will be played four times on every chord this time. So we have when I come to a C minor 7 chord, I'm sorry, D minor 7 chord, so I have 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret on the D string. I'll play the pattern twice. Then I'll go to a D minor 7 fret 5 chord, so same shape, different fret. I'll play the pattern twice. Then I'll go to C minor 7, play the pattern 4 times. Then back to B flat major 7, play the pattern 4 times. And then I'll lift off my middle finger from the major 7 chord to make it a dominant 7, so mute 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. Strum the chord once, end of the song. So that's it. Yeah, so we got two, three, four.
as a whole song. Uh, so uh, that's how you play the song. It was a quick lesson. I hope it helped you out. Let me know what else song you want to learn. Make sure you guys subscribe. It means a lot. It helps me out a lot too. So be sure to subscribe and drop me one of these so that this video actually gets promoted. Bye.